G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I'm sitting here with Kimberly. And so uh, uh, Friday night we ministered, uh, and there was 52 people more names on the on the feet than we prophesied to. Uh, we it was only me and Amy and Kimmy, uh, and we ministered to 30 people, but there's 52 names. So what I did. Uh, me and Kimi are sitting today and we're kind of just taking it in sections. So we're going to minister now to 10 people. And so you'll find that uh, we will probably, um, the in the next over the next three days, we'll prophesy to the other th uh, three people also. So you can just watch the channel every day. I'll, I'll post the video with 10 names and we'll just keep on prophesying until we've ministered to all of, all of you. So uh, the Lord said to me that people need personal ministry. They need to be built up. And so therefore you need to minister to individuals. So there was about a, a 10 year section in my life that all of my ministry was just pastors, it was just business leaders, and it was just churches. And so I had lots of invitations. I traveled all over South Africa. Uh, there's about 60 churches that I have a good relationship with and all of them invited me to regularly come and minister. And then one day I became a pastor. I didn't expect to become a pastor. I... I I actually in my mind never thought I would be a pastor, to be honest, all right? But the Lord called me uh, and there was a situation and I was the new pastor. And that was quite a sh shock on my system and on my family system. Uh, but then about two years later, the Lord gave me a word. He said to me, people need personal ministry. And so then I built a, a, a ministry team in our church. And then we, you know, we had an hour and a half service and we took almost half of the time just to minister to people. And so then the Lord said, but there's people online that also needs ministry. And so now it's, it's difficult because in the beginning we start to pray for people. But then I, I realized it's better to prophesy to people because that's going to help people. It's going to encourage them. And it's going to be something that takes less time and you can minister to more people. Because I, I used to go online and then it's a whole hour, but I only minister to like four people. And so then I realized I, we need to make, be, be able to, to, to minister to more people. And, and it takes a lot of time. So now that's what we do. You put your name in a comment and we would love to minister to you because the Lord gave me that mandate. He said, I have to do it. All right. So if you uh, new, you can subscribe, you can become part, but we're going to sit now and we're going to minister to 10 people. Uh, if you if you say, okay, but I, my name is not on the list. I also would like to receive a word. You can just write your name in the comments. I want to minister to Ilion uh, Georgiev. All right. So Ilion, the Lord chose to me, how you minister to lots of people. I just see multitude. And then, then I see what's coming out of you is love and worship. That's what I see coming out of you. And the Lord shows me that you're going to have maturity far beyond your years. You're going to have wisdom beyond your years. And you're going to see results at the young age. So now, uh, uh, Ilan, I really hope you're not an uh, uh, old person. Uh, because I've got no idea. But I just felt that the Lord says that there is a massive release that's going to come out of your life. And you know, in the Bible it talks about the 30-fold and a 60-fold and a 100-fold. And I felt that you've already seen the 30-fold and you feel that's what it is. But the Lord says now you're going to see the 60 and 100-fold come. So it's going to be increase uh, of the ministry, of the worship and of the love that flows out of you. God bless you. Uh, Amen. Ilya, I'm pleased leave us a comment. This next word is for Latifa. Latifa, the Lord says, tighten your straps. Hold on to the word as tightly as possible now in the season that you are in. Because I hear, I, I see how people are going to try and lead you astray. But the Lord saying, stay with my word. My word is truth. My word is life. And he is the gateway. I hear the Lord saying, go into your gateway of first love to meet with Jesus, to go to be with the Father as often as possible, that you know His voice, that you know the Holy Spirit's voice, and that you can discern whether this is of the Lord or whether this is just performance. Because I hear the Lord saying that people are going to try and confuse the two. But for you, you are going to know the Lord because you are going to spend time with it and build that relationship. The Lord loves you so much. Baby. Yeah, Latifa, I'll just add something. I saw someone handing you a book. and You, you, you didn't even understand the title of the book. But then a year later, you knew every single page, everything that was in that book. And you you felt like, yo, if I could just go one year back and tell myself what I've learned over this next year, uh, you know, then I'll be so much more wiser. You know, we always think if I can just go back and tell myself, you know, 
to buy Bitcoin in 2010, you know, then I would have been a gazillionaire uh, or, you know, what it, whatever the thing is. But I, I see how the Lord is giving you a book and that book is the knowledge, supernatural knowledge that he's giving to you. Okay, Latifa, God bless you. Okay, so Lucy, uh, uh, the Lord is showing to me um, these uh, eucalyptus um, beams. Okay, so I saw first the eucalyptus tree and I felt when I saw it, I felt that was your life and the, the things you went through in your life. But then the, the tree was cut off and made into beams, all right? And then a mine was built. The Lord gave me this whole vision about you. And then a mine was built. And then these beams were was, was used to form the inside of the tunnel that goes into that mine where they get the gold out. And then they put a little train in there and they were bringing gold out. So now that's the vision. Can I tell you what I think God says? He says to me, He's going to make you a gateway. He's going to make you a door. He's going to make you a source of influence and a, a door of wisdom for gold to come out. And people are going to get wealthy. They're going to be coached. They're going to be trained. That you're going to demonstrate to them how they can mine the gold and how they can bring it out. And you're going to be the one that stands there to hold the, the soil that want to close up that resource. And you're going to hold it up because that's what those beams do in a mine. And so I just felt that the Lord says, Yes, you have a kingly anointing on your life, but you also have a coaching, a teacher, a training, anointing, a mentorship, uh, a covering anointing on your life. And I feel the Lord is really raising you up as a very mature leader that can cover other leaders. God bless you. Aaron, Lucy, please give us comments. Thanks for this for Jobin. Jobin, I hear the Lord saying that you are so good to leave yourself at the door because when it is time to arrive, when when we are doing the Lord's, when we are working with God to, to do something amazing, that we leave ourselves behind and we just get filled with the Spirit. And I hear the Lord saying that you must pray in tongues more and learn how to how to yield to the spirit that those words will not only like just be the tongues but will also be words of wisdom that you are going to release and i hear the lord saying that learn the word of god that you can that you can know what is coming out of your mouth and, and what you are thinking is truth and i hear the and i hear the lord saying that there, his hand is upon you and your ministry um be blessed all right awesome jobin uh god's hand is upon you i just feel a lot of uh, joy when I hear your note and I know the Lord is going to use you. Okay, Dricky, the Lord shows me bags of seeds and how you give farmers bags of seeds. But now you're not the planter, you're the seed seller. Now, you know, seeds is very important. Um, in the old days, you can buy seed from anywhere and you can plant and stuff is great. But today, you get seeds that's good seed and you get seeds that's not good seed and some of the seeds I call it this is not really organic good quality food that it's going to produce the other seeds are really not good seed and I felt that the Lord says you have a lot of wisdom you've been trained well even from when you were a young person you learned uh, to fear the Lord to walk in the ways of God and so you have good seeds and I felt that the Lord says you are going to give all the farmers their seed so they can have seed to sow and your example but then i felt that you sometimes feel responsible but you need to also take that seeds and plant it and grow it and harvest and all of that the lord says now i haven't called you to be the the farmer i've called you to be the seed seller all right so that means you're going to give the wisdom you're going to bring the teaching you're going to give that word of encouragement you're going to give the prophetic word you're going to get a prophetic dream and share it with someone but once you've given that seed it's a good seed that person can plant it and i can get a harvest or they can ignore it and then uh say it but i felt that the lord says you're going to give many many people seeds and it's going to start in your family but it's even going to be expand beyond that god bless you amen adriki please give us a comment the sense is for jean jean the lord shows me you writing on a typewriter and it is not like when you write on a computer when you can quickly change something and the lord shows me how you only have one piece of paper and so you think very clearly, what do I need right now? And I see this as like, like a prayer that you are asking, Lord, what do I need right now? And I see how you are thinking so clearly about it because you can't just change one thing and add another thing, but you think so clearly and how you only end up with three things that you really need. And how you, it's almost like you fold it into a letter and you give it to the Lord and how he comes and provides for those three things and he, and he makes it he just makes it happen because you are really thinking this I don't really need this right now I don't need that if I need that the Lord will provide it in any case but these are the three things that I need and I see how you are going to the Father and you are pleading your case and how you are winning and the Lord provides those things for you be blessed hey. John God bless you all right Lydia I see uh, water coming out 
out of you. But that is first uh, has a lot of high level of alkaline in it. Alright. Uh, and it's coming out and it's coming out. Um, and then later the water gets purer and purer and purer. And there was a lot of things that you believed. Lies. Um, concepts. How things work. Strategies. How one should live. How one should minister. How one should maybe um, uh, do finances. But as that river of God keeps on flowing, the Lord speaks to you and the wisdom of God come and you even study the scriptures. It just gets cleaner and cleaner and all the lies gets cast aside. And the more truth they come, the more blessing they come, the more anointing they come, more you walk closer with God. And I just see that continuous process and you're very hungry, you're very, very sincere. And so the Lord says, I'm washing you of all those things that you feel you need to do to, to please people or God, but I'm bringing you uh, into that personal relationship. So it's like in the Bible it says there that Noah walked with God. Abraham walked with God. Uh, Enoch walked with God. And I just felt that the Lord says, Lydia is going to walk with God. God bless you. Amen, Lydia. Please leave us a comment. This thing's word is for uh, Jacques. The Lord shows me how you are just radiating full of light. And the, I hear the Lord saying that you just need to, to continue. And, and even though sometimes you feel that you inside, it is not always... Um, as well as others think, but the Lord saying He knows your heart and He is holding your heart. He is giving you, He is purifying your heart. He is giving you clean hands. The Lord shows me how He's just wiping the path clean. And he says, I want you to look now and in the future of what he wants to do. The Lord has a plan for you. He has a plan for your life. He's a good father. He comes, he, he knows what he wants his children to do. And I hear the Lord saying to continue to radiate this light amongst others. And that light will shine even brightly when you are alone with the Lord. Be blessed. Hey, uh, Jock, uh, every time uh, I see you, I always see that, that kingly anointing, that crown, that business anointing. Uh, that's upon your life and so just walk on it uh, don't ever for one second think that uh, you know if you had failures in business that you are not called to be a king and to walk in that that business um, success that God has called you to walk in I just see you go, you're going from glory to glory and don't worry about the past and about the limitations the Lord is going to break through for you God bless you Jock okay so Rita uh, I see the father's embrace how the Lord puts His arms around you and He holds you and how He completely um, hugs you until the orphan spirit that the enemy tries to put on your life is broken off of you. And I felt the enemy is telling you a lie and to say that you don't belong, that you don't have roots, that you are not taken care of, and that you don't, that, that you are orphan. Okay? Uh, and I felt that the Lord says, today uh, I'm, I'm breaking that orphan spirit off of your life. And the Father is embracing you and He's holding you and He's not letting you go until you feel safe and you feel secure. And then I see how you again go and you uh, hug your children and you hug people around you again. And how you break the orphan spirit of them. You know, Paul says, with the same comfort that I've been comforted, I comfort others. And I felt that the Lord says, that comfort is going to flow out of you, out of your life. He loves you very, very much. Uh, uh, Rieta, uh, keep hope. Keep your joy. Uh, walk in that joy that God has for you. That's a crown. You can never let that crown come off your head. You know, it's a decision to decide, I'm going to walk in joy. And I just felt that the Lord says, you're going to have to make two decisions the whole time. I'm being embraced by the Father and I'm, I'm, I'm keeping that crown of joy on my head. God bless you. Hey, man, Rieta, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Evelyn. The Lord shows me how you are running in this field and, and how sometimes you feel like you are you are going too fast or you're going too slow. And the Lord saying, do not compare yourself to the world's pace. He says, if you want to run to me, run to me. And if you want to make sure every step is, is well in line, then you can walk. But I hear the Lord saying that he is always open and he is always ready to to commune with you to to speak with you the lord is omnipresent he is always around you and when you are running in this field i see how you're running and you're this this grown woman running and then you as you run you grow younger and younger and younger and then you are like this child in the father's arms and then he picks you up to show like who you are to the father you are his his child and and his his like little princess like fathers would call their daughters like this is this is my child and i'll do anything for this child for my daughter and i hear the lord saying that is how i see you hey evelyn god bless you his hands upon you okay so next word is for dawn Stewart. uh dawn so when we drive the car here in south africa 
then most of the time the windows are down the cars are on lock everybody's relaxed we do wear our seat belts uh, but we are very relaxed okay but when we go into the city especially at some of those um, intersections where there's a uh, traffic light then my wife is all the windows must be closed and we lock the car uh, because you know these people they try to sell you something or they want to give you advertisements and you, you feel uncomfortable you're not sure who are these people are they going to be for you uh, is there danger here or not but then once we leave that intersection and we get out of the city then windows down again we don't worry about locking the car everybody's relaxed again and i felt that the lord says that's that's the process you're going through right now i see how you and the people that you're taking responsibility for in your life are coming into an intersection, into choices, but not everybody there is on your side. And so you just need to let those windows in, don't make eye contact, lock the, the doors, and just trust in God and say, Lord, right now we're not getting advice from people. We're just following uh, the compass that you have given to us. Stop at the intersection, go and go to the left, go and to the right, and just keep going straight. And then uh, continue and then after a while then you guys can relax again and so what it means in a natural that i just felt that the lord says that right now is not a time of change although opportunities come right now is not a time to stop although the opportunity will even come to stop again maybe you feel like you're slowing down but i felt that the lord says i've given you the vision i've given you the plan i'm going to keep on supplying to you and you're going to be safe i'm putting my angels around you to protect you and those around you god bless you Amen, Dom. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Sapna. The Lord shows me how you need to be anchored. When the boat is anchored, it is not going anywhere. You need to be anchored in the Lord. And I hear the Lord saying that sometimes you go through phases of you of highs and of lows. But when you are anchored in the Lord, you know that this is truth. That He is truth. That He is speaking that that over you. And I hear the Lord saying that when you are when you are docked, when the boat is by a, like a dock by by a place, then you can come out, and then you can know that you are safe when you are in His house and you are secured by His ropes. But, but when you, when you are out, when you are sharing, be anchored in the Lord, that you do not go any way that the wind of the world is trying to blow you. Be blessed. Hey, okay. awesome! Thank you very much, Sapna. God bless you. Thank you, family. It was such a pleasure for us to minister to you. Uh, if you're new to our channel, remember to subscribe. Uh, you can sign up to our newsletter. And uh, if the Lord is uh, speaking in your, in your heart and says, give something, you know, maybe you want to give uh, $5 or $100 or something, just click on that uh, pay, PayPal link. It really helps me. So Unity with Heaven is a ministry. Uh, and we do use the the money just for practical things so and we always want to grow and do more things so it really helps us when people give so if you want to give you just hit that paypal link i would really appreciate it i love and i appreciate each one of you uh, remember if you wanted to receive a, a word on one of these videos just write your name in the comments i'll put you on the list and then when we get to you we'll minister to you god love you god bless